I am Amaresh Patil from PDA College of Engineering, Gulbarga, which is in the northern part of Karnataka. I am 57 years old, having wife Sudha, housemaker, and two daughters. Shreya completed her engineering in computer science last year, and Priya is pursuing her studies in 12th standard. Presently, uh, we have shifted to the new dwelling from November 2023, with wife and kids. Parents right now are staying with my younger brother uh, in the same city, in the other area. We are there with, uh, uh, we are in the family as three brothers and two sisters. Two brothers are uh, in different uh, parts of the world. That is one is uh, in US and the other is in UK. And, and two sisters are there in their in-laws places. My journey in UHV started by attending an introductory five days uh, online FDP uh, in, no, uh, in uh, 28th of February, mm -hmm. 2022. The reason of doing this FDP was uh, to get into the, to be connected to the teaching profession where uh, we had some uh, less admissions in the PG course because I normally handle for MTech students. So these five days helped me to know much of my, my role, how I can help the students. Because when I heard Umesh Bhaya for the first time, I think I got connected to the content. And whatever the efforts that I was trying to do for helping myself uh, was there within only. So that was the first proposal that I holded for a for myself and the journey is there from that day till now. Initially, I thought uh, that whenever I used to hear these contents in different mode, like uh, Refresher 1 program and Refresher 2, which I had done uh, in the month of April and May in 2022 only, I was able to see that the things are getting repeated. But the, the depth of the content was becoming better and better or that understanding part in me was becoming better and better. And the persisted uh, uh, mails coming from AICT or uh, from the volunteers uh, from the NCCIP was helping me every time to get connected in these weekly meetings and, and uh, those monthly meetings where uh, the the better part of the content, uh, the, the, the meaning of those words, what I used to hear. Every time, uh, whenever I'm being connected, there is something that I used to hold myself. This is some improvement. That is what I was able to uh, see in this journey of last two and uh, two years and three months. Uh, and every time, whenever uh, this proposals, whatever are being put by the mentors before us uh, in this morning session has helped me to validate them. And I started living with these proposals. So that is what is my journey of this UHV. Now coming to this morning exercise of observing the self by the self, that is every moment and whenever I used to, as I said, I have started joining this morning session from the fifth batch onwards. I was giving this sharing after uh, after every sessions. Then uh, I I used to say I I am able to see I am able to see these desire, thought, and expectations. But I am now in this coming to this tenth batch, only able to realize that what is that feeling part. And uh, where I need to look, it is looking within and being aware. Uh, every moment is a is is a bigger uh, challenge for for me. So that I was only aware when I heard uh, Sharmila Didi or uh, Gopal Bhaiya in this morning session, the tenth batch, because the feeling part. But might be uh, I used to get connected somewhere, uh, but might be for some moments, not in continuity. But now I'm able to see and observe my imagination 
in continuity most of the time but i do sleep it doesn't mean that every time i am able to see and in the second step if you are asking that feeling that you have at this moment is natural acceptable so whenever i am able to observe it is it becomes natural for me to be natural because it is not driven by uh, uh, by something uh, other than uh, other than what is natural to me so i i become comfortable and i become in harmony so that is what i am able to see this only looking within or looking at the imagination what is going on at the level of the feelings but earlier i used to no, i now i am able to see that i used to be at the level of thought and that is what uh, is there uh, uh, i was able to hold in this 10th batch so 10th batch i had able to see that uh, what the desire or wh whatever is the program or whatever is the activity that i am doing what is that feeling behind if i am there at the at that level I, it becomes but naturally nothing other than what is naturally is, is not been there in me so that is what i am able to see that who decides that feeling uh, that you have at this moment it's, uh, uh, it's very clear that uh, it is i decide the feeling because it is in me it is not uh, uh, it is not from somewhere outside on what basis did you decide the feeling you have at this moment so that is what is that understanding part the understanding of uh, these proposals and understanding about about the about the self that is uh, is holding me to have those uh, have those feelings in line with the natural acceptance so if you are going to the sixth step where uh, which feelings are naturally acceptable to you feelings of relationship or opposition or harmony or disharmony coexistence or struggle i am able to see very clearly that only relationship harmony and coexistence are helping me to be in harmony otherwise i uh, there is some contradiction there is some disturbance there is uh, Uh, there is something which is not natural to me so that is i am able to see very clearly so i try to bring in these uh, three feelings um, uh, or three three entities in me in the feeling part so that it will help me so in the, if you if you go to the seventh step ensuring that the feeling that you have at the moment is in line with the feeling Uh, that is what is that i was just speaking it or it is in continuity uh, so if at all if it is there with my understanding of what is relationship what is harmony and what is coexistence i am able to see very clearly that it is helping me for that completeness if i am trying to put before the relationship i have an understanding that the relationship is between i and the other self it is not at the level of the body because uh, i know uh, we all these uh, 55 years or 56 years of my life uh, i am able to transact at the level of the body might be uh, at some level the self was there but i was not at all aware when i speak of harmony the harmony is that synergy of what i want to be in continue in uh, in continuity but i thought uh, that harmony is uh, i i used to relate it or live with that excitement part or that is some uh, doing something and being getting excited about which i know that was not going to be in continuity and when i try to understand about the coexistence coexistence is it starts from myself so i am there as a coexisting with the body so it is i this is coming to me uh, and with that understanding part of the coexistence then i can coexist with rest of the units around me and try to help myself and help the other so that that is what is an understanding right now of these three words that i have that means i am able to transact at the level of the settled part not at the level of the gross 
So that is all regarding the exercise one. Now coming to exercise two, uh, the body, uh, I am in space, the body is in space. Uh, this is still uh, uh, to for me to understand much uh, of the space I need to spend some more time. But I am able to see these two realities very distinctly and try to try to make a program related to both uh, the self and the body and uh, the transaction information with the uh, information with the body through space time to time as and when I require not always that is very clear with uh, with me I am one who decides what instruction is to be passed to the body and what sensation are to be read from the body. While reading the sensation, I am not in the sensation. I am not... Uh, uh, I can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body from where I am at a distance from the sensation. So there is a distance between the self and the body. That is very clear. Any... any sensation that I'm getting from any part of the body, I read and try to give the meaning uh, in line with the understanding. And that is, this sensation is helping me to know there is some disharmony. And I try to make a program to help this coexistence so that uh, it becomes back to normalcy, that is in the harmony. My interaction with the body and with the outside world in the way of sensation, I, that's what I just reiterated. I, I, I tend to re, uh, react if my sanskar is based on assumption. That's what is uh, is still happening now and then uh, whenever I transact. But it is most of the time uh, with the with the family members rather than the people outside. People outside, we are very cautious and trying to uh, make a big good figure of us. So we normally transact better. But it comes to the family members, we try to react. I, I try to react. So and that is understanding. I slip from the pure observer. That's what I am able to see. I try to try to give this wrong meaning, not with, with the right understanding. So that unhappiness do creep in now and then. But but being aware, once when I look at the level with my feeling part, I will be uh, I'm astonished that how this uh, this uh, feeling of uh, opposition has come in me. So once again, I I try to improve or or I try I try to work on that. Just looking into that only. That is what is the best part. And I need not to put any efforts there. I if I'm just looking within, then uh, it it comes naturally for me. Or uh, the feelings will be in line uh, in line with my natural acceptance. So that harmony is restored. That's what I am able to see. The If I am able to respond, I am comfortable with those sanskar, with this understanding part. So it is all there with, the, with exercise one and exercise two. Uh, now if I am going further with, uh, with how many steps are you able to see in yourself clearly? So uh, if whatever is that I had put forth till now, I think it is, all the steps are there very clear because the way the mentors put for us, it is helping. But still in that systematic approach, every day's assignment uh, was whatever is being given. I try to uh, jump through. That is, uh, even I, I would say that this part is also a bit of excitement that is not doing it uh, that systematically the way it is being put forth every day because we try to, do much uh, at the doing part rather than being part what uh, what the Didi or Bahia explains every day but uh, definitely that being part is now uh, in line you know, it is happening in more moments that's what I am able to see happiness is your innate nature that's very much holding this part uh, in myself and not the effect from outside but uh, I know I am able to see that the effect from outside do creep in and whenever that creeps in, sometimes I'm in happiness and sometimes I'm in unhappiness. That's where is that I'm able to see that whenever I'm there with those happiness moments, so that is it natural to me. And something which is not uh, leading to disharmony is always something which is not natural. So 
this is very clear and how much of the program yeah, is to, for is for trying to get favorable effect or sensation or feelings from outside not much i would say nowadays because i i try to look within and that is helping me yeah. and how much of the program is keeping in focus of the self and how much of the program is keeping uh, the focus in the body part so i would say right now uh, it is something like uh, if i'm per giving in terms of percentage the 70% is towards the self now 30% is still with the body that's what i am able to see and uh, uh, for the program keeping self in focus uh, it is based on preconditioned sensation there there are a few moments where i get into this preconditioned sensation because I, it was a long journey for me till now and now once when i'm aware of my natural acceptance which is there in me i use this natural acceptance of mine and try to ask this question myself that why i am doing this what is the purpose behind then it just creeps out so that is what is there i am able to see in my living and regarding the commitment uh, much of the time i am devoting for the right understanding try to put forth uh, whatever uh, uh, is there in my feelings level because it's quite natural that if at all you, uh, if at all there is uh, you i you, you try to commit yourself and try to do the best because it is participation is what is helping uh, for myself that's very clear and the social responsibility emerging out of this natural uh, natural self exp expression or uh, it, it is at the present moment uh, with social part uh, not much efforts but still uh, that is program is there i will try to do the best and uh, devoting my time in a day that's happening at least two hours that is what is reserved i keep on updating myself because i, I share this content to the students also in the classroom and uh, because uhv2 is there as an uh, credit course but it is one credit course the students are not that uh, attentive uh, in the class uh, this is also my own uh, assumption i would say but still i try to um, put forth my these proposals before them and uh, because it is a mcq type uh, one with one credit so they keep it uh, on the last priority but for me it is on the first priority to help the students because i am able to see that this is one content which will help for them in their career so that is what uh, is that understanding so i am being joined with uh, my two daughters uh, shreya and priya uh, and they both uh, take this opportunity to put forth their understanding uh, with this content and uh, this morning session i will give it to shreya Namaste everyone, um, myself Shreya. I have begun my journey of UHV from this batch itself. Um, I have also listened to some of the introductory sessions and I'm trying to learn from it. Uh, the sessions have made me realize how important it is for me to look within myself. Because of UHV, I'm able to explore myself. I'm able to look how the self and the body are the two different entities. And the requirements of both are also different. I was able to see how the self directs the body to do the things. It is clear to me of how one self actually connects to the other self. This made me understand that the other person is also like me and their intentions are also pure as mine. I'm able to look at the fact that every self has got the same program, purpose and potential. We only differ in our understandings and competency. UHV has provided me an opportunity to know what actually right understanding mean. That is about knowing the reality. As most of the time, I used to live with my own imaginations and assumptions. It has made me understand the importance of self-evaluation. I'm able to develop my knowledge about doing the right evaluation for myself as well as for others. I learned how actually over-evaluation, under-evaluation and otherwise evaluation leads to the cause of disharmony. I was able to see the reasons why I used to get so much disturbed uh, when something doesn't go as per my thoughts and imagination. I learned that happiness is within me. I got to know that I need not be dependent on others or any other factor to be happy. I understood that by having the right understanding and 
by adopting the things that are naturally acceptable one can always be at harmony which happens also to be the basic aspiration of every human being these were some of the major highlights for me from the sessions through which i was able to develop my understanding still there are many moments where i get disturbed easily by the happenings around me but the major thing is we as a family often try to discuss about the situations and scenarios we go through and always try to help each other to rightly understand the things so that the disharmony among us doesn't last long and we separate the things easily currently i'm still not able to completely inculcate the teachings of uhb in my day to day living um uh, as i couldn't make myself to attend the exercise sessions so regularly but still i can see myself that uh, somewhere the journey has started within me and i'm slowly trying to implement those points into my living and i can see those changes within me for now thank you yeah i'll just give it to priya this is, uh, who is just studying pu second year yeah, yeah pu second year is in karnataka but she is in 12th standard that's what it is concept namaste everyone um this is priya studying in 12th standard i begin the journey of uhb by attending the introductory sessions but uh, it's almost every day that i connect with the uh, content as i discuss with my dad and family Uh, everything which happens with me every, uh, every day in with my day to day activities or my uh, college uh, routines and all i discuss with dad like what's happening with me what's wrong and what not uh, i understand the content about uh, how the different uh, difference is between the soul uh, that is myself and uh, my body uh, i understand how difference is there in the needs of uh, both of them that are uh, that about the both the entities uh, and how the self directs the body to uh, according to me and how i work within my day uh, i always uh, i used to uh, never used to connect in the starting of the uh, sessions or even with my dad but now i check up on every time and uh, the exploration always every time it goes with it goes into the part and i every time check up on like what uh, i think this is something going disharmony with myself about anything which is not about according to my thoughts and according to my will uh, and the other part that is uh, how um, even uh, uh yeah so that is what it is uh, with uh, shreya has uh, tried to make a uh, hand script but uh, priya has just uh, came herself uh, to explore uh, put before her own sharing part so that is all about thanks for uh, the mentors uh, who has given a bigger platform for us with understanding Uh, i connect myself uh, with uh, with the english session when the family connects uh, with the hindi so this two hours is happening every day uh, at every day uh, we keep on hearing so that is all about namaste to everyone and uh, to bigger uh, we as a family are uh, express that gratitude part with uh, all the mentors and the co explorers and those of the questions of the co explorers are of uh, so many times it's my own question so i do explore together so thanks for the opportunity and namaste to everyone namaste dear so nice sharing and i am happy to hear that uh, bhaiya with his family members are exploring these proposals and when our friends family members get involved into this then the environment which is created in our family helps each other to grow or to observe consciousness so in that sense it is good another thing is that uh, as bhaiya shared uh, many times he is observing successfully nice consciousness but 
many times is also slipping from observing so it happens this is the process but the important is you know we are getting involved into the process and our family members are involved into the process so sooner or later we will reach to the state where we all are looking for so this is nice bhaiya that you are working with your family members so keep it and keep it up bhaiya thank you bhaiya thank so you that's all thank from you. my side yes